Holy shit, Bob the dog. I keep. Lead on Saga. For general strength. Basic swamp. I'll play another Saga. To double amulet him all over. Mono black coffers. Two swamps probably. What's that? Shadow of Shrouds, a very spear dalai, kurva. Typical hatred. Just kills my land and draws a card? Come on. Shadow of Doubt. Expecting a feel of ruin then immediately. Instead, I see Fotsies taking the pact, playing a swamp. Okay. Get amulet. And I Vesuva Saga. I make a construct. And you show me what you're made of. I push. All right. Hello, Mr. Simmer. How are you today? I'm pretty good, Olsen. Thanks for asking. It's playing the one ring, so we st we strike now. Drawing a Titan. I said a Titan. So she was thrown the deck. Doesn't matter. If I draw a Titan, I'll be good. Puka and Stefan have been getting along pretty well from the get go. So Fulek who does wars on that front. But Buka has always been less willing to sit with me in my room, so no surprises here. No Stefan reveal yet, but soon. Does Stefan like Blood Moon? Holy shit. Bro has ring protection but doesn't want to wait. That's actually very convenient. Nice shadow of doubt. Yeah, I doubt. 
How is Elish known against mono black? Counter's ring, I guess. Yeah, she kind of dies to removal. Kule, jak nie gryźć tego? Random coffers list. Yeah, election and track task. I was thinking of including a Kali Garden so that I could go Primal Titan for with Elish on the battlefield, Primal Titan for Fountain and Kalni. Get two plants for life and then two Vesuvas to copy both. It's not like Elish is super trivial to kill. Trades badly with shoulders early and can die to a march for no value. What if I actually have two grids for this is Shadow of Doubt? Might be some small usefulness wow one greed to Elish let's see like Elish is a threat greed is kinda kinda bad I laughed at a Viewer who suggested boarding in greed against coffers because of Shadow of Doubt the last time, so I can only afford to play one. Not playing 61 post board, convinced. I guess drawing forest less often is actually a boon. And Elish is actually hard to cast through Field of Ruin, so let's cut her. O fulek, no, bestia ty moja kochana, jaki ty jesteś przyjazny, wiesz? Naprawdę niesamowicie. Let's make constructs. Or play Dryad, I guess. Probably gonna play Dryad. That sounds better. <laughs> Profane Tutor. Yeah, I mean, I'll play Dryad Valakut. Why? Why not? Should I play Dread Valakut? Because Valakut is stopped. I probably should. And if Villain plays Field of Ruin and waits for my bounce land, then I am get Titan into play with Valakut triggers anyway, so I would need to have a removal spell for the Dryad too. Can also get Shadow of Doubt that. Demolition field. Could also fire it on the Ulza Saga immediately. Rain of Tears. Holy f guacamole. Hmm. Hmm. All right, buddy. You get to the Reign of Tears. 
you get to do profane tutor it's gonna be rain of tears once again to destroy my bonds land could be these rains cannot quench they carve the land's face like a scalpel on flesh says Krovax. yeah Krovax. well put Krovax. Like a random intoxicating innocence. Come on, just play the one ring. No, you want to, Gab. Necromantia, I don't care, I'll get the zombie and be gap down with it. Yeah, it's Bobsy the dog. A famous streamer of the card game Magic the Gatherings. Seems like a tough decision. But his deck contains Rain of Tears and there is no... Only imagination... Prevents us from making up another card that he could find and summon here. Oh, uh -huh. He has found something. What now? Swamp? Into the onion ring. Holy shit, he actually did that. It's only really problematic if he goes what? Mm. Like, he plays a sweeper that's. Exile Titans? Do I want to get two bounce lands to make Mr. Beast the best? Valakut, I only have one Valakut hit, so if I don't want to get Valakut hit, then I need Bazuva to copy it right now. But it doesn't strike me as super important. <clears throat> I'll hide Valago in my hands. Because in Gardens I want to have quad blue. Attack with the Dryad for the Lulz. Pass. I guess he like 
cannot even cast a sweeper that exiles my titans because he doesn't have collect evidence 6. So he can just go like damnation. It's the best he can do. Yeah, I don't know. Seems kind of weird to search his deck and then like play the one ring here. I think a Reign of Tears would have been much better. Although I did draw the one ring in my Joseph, so I would have the perfect response to that too, so. Probably was fine for me either way. If I play the land on the previous turn, I could have like hasted a Titan next turn if a Titan attacks. There was value in redeploying the Valakut for that purpose. Even if it's scary that he cuts off the angle of Valakut entirely. I'm playing Slayer Stronghold today because I'm playing an LS Nord, so I can't do that. Without having played the land. That would have been would have been true with with Hanwer though. That is true. But I have one Valakut, double Vesuva. Slayer Stronghold, Mirror Pool, today. So what's that gonna be? Forces into Domination? Do these wildlands require a Slayer Stronghold? If you play Slayer Stronghold, you play an extra white source, so it just makes sense to... ...to do that, I found. Well, I'll start by going to combat. See if he acts now. Three mana, four mana. What's that March on Titan? But yeah, if you play Slash Jungle, you have Garrison in your deck, which is a white source for Elishnor and just kind of incentives seem to line up. Holy guacamole. Alright, let's see if Elish Norn does anything. I'm gonna gain two protections. He exiled a Doffy Voidwalker, break the ice, and a profane tutor, what a combination of cards. So this triggers twice. Mm 
and play another land. It also shoots face twice. Always easiest to bob the dog. And now we gain double protection. Two protections. And a Titan for the next turn. That's a good one. He loses two and has to deal with my board. Now, Elishnorn would have been a pact. Don't have any more Valakus in my deck. Let's go Crumbling Vestige and Slayer Snare Sanctuary. This way I get to make mana. So let's make red and white. Now to pick up two lands, we pick up Bolas, Poseju and Crumbling Vestige. And now I'll discard Bosedju to hit Demolition Field for one green mana because of Elishnorns I'm overtapped. Which means that he cannot destroy my Slayer Stronghold before the second trigger fetches it. So yeah, he kills my Silas Semi Grove Chamber, which I adore but also can live without. <clears throat> this fizzles. Titan grabs a stronghold and a bounce land. I bounce stronghold and I bounce forest. I cast Explore. I cast more Explore. I play double trigger Lush Portico. Or do I? He concedes before I get to play my double trigger Lush Portico. Rough. Very masterfully played. Thanks. I think it was a nice line. Not really like, super hard to notice, but nice line enabled by Elishnorn, kind of. If I had a second Valakut in my deck, it also would work because I would get a Valakut number two. And well, yeah, that would feel of ruin, so actually, I don't know if it would have worked as well. Probably would have been fine, but. Bob the dog has been vanquished. How come there is only one Valakut? Was it sided out? No, today I'm playing an Elish Norn list. And because I'm playing an Elish Norn list, I'm playing Slayer Stronghold. Because I'm playing a Slayer Stronghold list, I have also replaced... Right, I'll show you and explain. So like in... In the other list, I have one Vesuva, two Valakut, Kessig Wolfran, Mirror Pool, Hanwe, right? In this list, I have Slash Stronghold with Garrison, because you need that pair to work together. And then with double amulet, you go Mirror Pool, 
Copy Titan, Garrison Stronghold, Haste both. Attack with both, both trigger on attack. Then fetch Otawara, Vezuva for Slayer Stronghold, a Breadlands, which could be Valakudor, I think Megosin Gardens works too, and Sanctuary. That way you create 4, 5, 6, 8 mana. So yeah, if you don't have access to Valakud, you won't have access to the extra bounce. And you get to deal 20 damage while bouncing a blocker. So it's actually even better than the full 20 damage Sun Home thing. But that means that if Vesuva becomes a part of your normal combo chain, right? Which means that your Vesuva doesn't actually fulfill the purpose of Vesuva anymore. It does not serve as a safety measure of against drawing the haste land or, or whatever, right? So for that purpose, you need second Vesuva in your deck. It's like the first Vesuva is a combo card, but the other Vesuva is a the second Vesuva is an actual Vesuva, while this one is just a Cassie Wolfrand essentially. And also, you have three Vesuvas total in your deck for. Valakut purposes, three Valakut possible ends, you can go, you know, we've played like that before, Valakut, Vesuva, Vesuva, it's pretty similar, it's rarely punishes you, sometimes people will set you or Field of Ruin or Valakut ends awkward, but... Or sometimes you cannot fetch double Valakut with your first Titan trigger, which results in not lethals, but for the most part it's like pretty similar. I switched back to double Valakud when I was playing with the Red Splash because Valakud is a reliable red source, so that's why I favored it for a while and then like in, ge in general Vesuva Vesuva Valakud or Valakud Valakud Vesuva those are pretty close to me. So, okay, that's why there is one Vesuva in this build right now. <sighs> I have one main, one main Ignorn and one Sideboard Norn. I was thinking if I can fit ancient steerings into the deck once again in small amounts but I could have only fit one into this build which this build is black splash well black splash just has rot farms to support this member in it also has underground mortuary which may be worse than a forest people play coffers occasionally with their field of ruins and drawing a forest against those Stinks, but there's so few moon moons lately, no one is playing them. And ancient steerings yeah, might be useful. With the one ring being a powerful card to hit with it. So like you have a payoff, you have you can find all the mana and you have a payoff to find with it. So maybe might be not too bad. And should make double amulet hands a bit more common. 
but of course drawing multiples is not so good when you can't reliably cast it so much early in the game, so probably not worth it. Also, just one TUS now. In today's spread, I think one TUS is fine. Second one is fine too. Makes sense to not play it, makes sense to play it. Not sold one way or the other on on that, but it is a stinky land in the opening hand oftentimes. Except that it sometimes comes up like on turn five, the fact that you had it in your opening hand and you played it. But if you if we trim on packs that also makes sense to have less of the TUS. You're rarely truly TUS chaining nowadays. So yeah, that's my that's my little bit of a amulet theory spelled out. Is there an agreement between you and Yellow Ward that he never plays amulet and you never play blue black cringe decks? It's just what we like to play. He did play a few amulet prelims here and there. Like a month ago, he counter streamed me by playing Amulet Prelim with the same list that I did. <laughs> with the same Prelim. Zamieszania kind of base, no? What? Mokassin, Prince, Poke, Ball, Slipper, Elbow, Boa. Bow tie, stick. Oh, steerings, you mean? Well, yeah, I don't know if it's based. Like, I, I will probably try to play one or two for a few problems. Have I offered a yellow jacket and amulet coaching session? I have not, no. Mamba, Jab, Pumpkin are there. Prod, wheel, tube, stick. Prod, tube, stick. So prod is something that sticks out, right? No, prod means to sturhatch, dzgaj. Then I was mistaken. Mokasin. Adder. Mamba. Boa. Kind of snakes. Boa snake. Other snake. What's an other snake? No, no, not this snake. Other, other snake. Ah, oh, yes. Other snake is Zmia Zigzakovata. Of course. Of course. Mukasin snake. I thought mocassins are shoes. So actually, were those shoes made out of agkistrodons? That probably was the case. I didn't even know that. Slipper, ball, pumpkin and prince. Seen in Cinderella. Good suggestion by Necropolish. Stick tube wheel prod poke. Prod poke jab elbow. Not elbow. Stick. Thrust. Jab. Thrust. Jab. Poke. Prod. Stick. Yeah. Wheel tube bow tie elbow. Alright, let's think of the connection between those teeth paste, toothpaste tube, no, bow tie, no, elbow, no, no toothpaste elbow, wheel, tube, bow tie, elbow, uh, pasta shape, 
yeah, it's gonna be pasta shape. I don't know if there is wheel pasta, but probably there is. Wheel pasta. This is what I got when I Google wheel pasta. Yeah, I eat that every day. Oh, right, so we solved the puzzle. House of Mana MTG fighting against Mystery Gerstel, so let's go with... Let's get the Puzmo... What's that, Skurva? Crossword. Numbers for crunching, through in, pieces with POVs. Since slice seller in some males. <laughs> Instrument played by Sheku Kane, Mason, and Yoyoma. Anyone and everyone to back Spani. Tailless primate, ape, number only business card, ignore the script, say, improvise, on demand, no. Lawyers organization. Rank in many martial arts. What to say for your mama or your lama, according to book titles. Screw up. Want to build a snowman? Do you? Are we allowed to give answers? Yes. In fact, you're very ap <coughs> appreciated. Drink in a fast food combo. Soda. Polishes some text. Editor? No. Editor? No. Yon inducing party guests. K -an -is no. Pop up on a phone screen. Add? No. Notif? One down is dog. Yeah, you did say dog. Six down. Done. I am all for it. Bitter beer. Ipa. Softball start. Take home. Take home. Take out. Part of a university address campus. No, I don't know. Heavy rock question mark metal. Why is it with a question mark? Let's say metal. We can remove it later. Twist on a Sazerac, e.g. Designer Jonathan Adler specialty. Animal sheltered resident, perhaps. Animals, ki atis, situ, ru, a, strays, no. He's a phenomenal control player. Eats away at the fair as an agenda item. Ruler Boren, thank you very much for almost three years of subbing. Co-pasher sound, moo. Spiky haired, spiky haired sounding character whose name comes from Japanese words for X and O. The symbols used to signify wrong and right answers. What's Sanrio? Sanrio. Hello, Kitty.
Sunray is Hello Kitty. Precursor to a patent idea. Good job, Golly. Co Pasha sound. Precursor to a patent. Shade of a yellow named for a songbird. Canary. What is it? Canary. One across. Yeah, data for numbers for crunching. That's good. Number on a business card. Ignore the script. Say. Instrument played by Sheku Kane. Probably gonna be cello because what else? Pieces with POVs. Op us. No. Adeline. Ten OP ads. That makes so much sense, my friends. Ad lib. Polishes some text. Editor. I think we already did that. Slice seller in some mails. Anyone selling some slice? Response of understanding. Oh yeah. Twist on a Sazerac, e.g. What the heck is a Sazerac? Cocktail. Sazerac is a local variation of cognac or whiskey. Which nice is like EGA Dre? No, it's not a drink. Polish is some text. Edits it. No, okay. Well, the, the like phrasing implying the form of the word always gets me here. I see. Holy shit, that's a good one. Through in added. What to say for your mama or your little llama drama? I guess, I don't know. Rhymes. E. Mm, eight, eight, screw up. E. 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 Hmm. I don't know. Things like Ella Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Error, yeah. So good. Screw up is an error. Slice sellers in some mails. Arrow. This crossword is way too easy. Okay. Liars, layers, org. What's a layers org? ADA, ABA, ACA, AMA. Hardly so last year. It's a way at Sheena Easton song of the line. Watch me, baby, while I walk out the door. Sheena Easton. Szkocka piosenkarka, aktorka filmowa i teatralna. Sheena 
She has a song titled Strut and probably it's gonna be that. 12th down. M cast like Mama Cass. Sparrow sells pizza in the malls. Sparrow. Oh, okay, it's a restaurant. Sbarro. Amerykańska sieć pizzerii ma za przyszło 600 lokali w 28 krajach na świecie. No Sbarro in Polandia, so I didn't know. Scots. Yeah. Ten across is op ads, not ads. I'll trust you. Fodzi widziałem z barro na stacji paliwowej. Then that just shows that I'm not frequently coming to the boat city. Tells tales that aren't true. Liar. Designer Jonathan Adler specialty. Jonathan Adler. Modern home decor, luxury gifts. Decor. Googling, yeah, I mean, Chad ain't helping, so. Have to Google a bit. Oh no, TSP Piendrek. Piedrek. We did connections, yeah. Vitae. He's playing his Narset control deck. I'll go turn one saga, turn two crabbling vestige. Nah, I don't know. Die. Do do. The upper false connections was neat, which they tried out once in a while. Yeah, I didn't read, didn't check that out. So, unfortunately, I don't know. I think I'll play gardens. Bouncing the saga seems not viable. So, if he wants to tap out for a Narset, he can 3D. I'm gonna just play into a counter spell. Meticulous Archive. That's a crazy play. Mr. Beast. Will I do an Outlaw set review? 
Maybe. When is it releasing? When is the pre-release? One mana, no land drops. He's a phenomenal control player. I don't know, same with contracts a bit. We good to draw a dryad or something, maybe he's gonna miss more land drops. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Just passing for now, if he's passing with mana up too. Now at 6 mana he's gonna be in the range of... ...being annoying. Probably gonna have like, I don't know, pitch bone. No oh, kind of spell. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twelve. It's got more than twelve.
I mean, second kind of spell check, then strike with contract. Sounds good. I bounce Saga back to my hand, is it possible? No, it's not. Let's play Titan. Counter spells. And I make and then of turn construct thirteen and then it's gonna be not lethal but pretty big. Terefera. Found the construct key. Well, I like this matchup. I thought it's pretty bad, but like as I keep playing it, I feel like I lose less often. But my initial feeling was that it's pretty bad. I think no one doesn't help much. In all honesty. Like she doesn't help against counter spell at all, right, really. She doesn't really clock. Doesn't really do anything. Maybe yeah, I'll plus edge with the Minamo. Should have done that earlier, but this might be useful for him. <clears throat> but yeah, all of the counter magic slightly problematic. A strong for Wolfrand pumping random dudes a good strategy in this matchup. Mm. Well, it's not really like like constructs are the best strategy in the matchup. Constructs are like the actual way you end up winning. Pitch is Supreme Verdict. That's very pretentious. But also, it means I'm dead. Because... Be 
wouldn't pitch without a second verdict because like verdict is a better way to s solve this titan than not doing that but well maybe he would have mis misevaluate or something i don't know Yeah, also Greed. Greed is, of course, like the best. Greed and Saga. It's quite two tops, so... That seems like death. Well, let's keep on playing. Why not? And of course, he draws four cards now with the ring, so... It's not quite likely. Wow, that was extremely pretentious. Now I can't even haste my Titan. Copy Hall. Six life. Cringe set reveals force of negation. Okay. Gaia Rich Cringe Starium. Okay. What now? I'll make a construct. Rude. Cryptic command tap all. That's not a thing anymore. Huh. 
<sighs> have to kill a soul dude. Goes to nine, but then goes to five. Why just flash another soul dude for life gain EOT? Okay. He has five life and the one ring on five life. If he skips his turn, then he's just gonna die. Can win if I drop a Sergio, maybe? No, well, oh, he has on the ring. I was thinking he's gonna like draw step. No, I can't win with Vosejo either in that way. Dobra. Spierdala już tam nie graj mi jakieś gówna w ankipie, bo. Win by decking. Yenrex deck is a. Deck with um, days undoing, so it's not possible to deck him. It does actually con contain a an actual infinite loop, which is not really MTGO feasible, but exists. The loop would be to <clears throat> have Nars and Teferi and then Days Undoing you in your own like first activate Gaia Reach and then Days Undoing you or like the other way around that way you villain never draws cards I play turn three dryad. Then I probably die. Maybe I can keep this. But yeah. Probably shouldn't. Like if this resolves, then this can be fine. Well, let's keep it for science. It's probably bad. This can be a white source for Elash. Or this. You know, he only has four counter spells in his deck. Saga is a good draw. Of course, Yendrik being Yendrik always feels like he has 10,000 counter spells in his deck instead because you won't catch him without holding up one on turn two. He's quite top with Preorden, so I surely Preorden found it. Dress down for my saga. 
Ai, ai, ai. Ai, ai, ai. Let's copy the saga then. Gonna make an end of Terran construct. Likely I'll get hit by this and doing and then I'll die, but... That doesn't happen, it's not gonna be easy either. I mistaked. This match is miserable. No, it's fine. It's just like, it's just a bit bad, but what is miserable is how pretentious control is. But in terms of Winnability, I will just say it's a tiny bit bad. That's how it works. Let's stop. Ford Amulet only has good matchups, question mark. Yeah. This is a bottom. The onion ring. Dobra, no. Wygrałeś gnoju. I'll be back in a few minutes. Need to pee.
Plus index six days ago, Gorayo's vengeance. Mm -hmm. Curious. Stinky bounce on, but also vestige. Feel like I should keep. Play saga. Nice mana base, by the way. Nice mono green decks mana base. Villain, any place? Can have double green with Garden and Vestige, it's all okay, yeah. There are ways to get there. Even if it's slightly ugly. Seems like Villain is not willing to play, so let's finish the puzzle more. Oh, villain is back. I play Urza Saga. I pass. Your move, villain. Villain move against six. Villain plays Floated Strand. Passes. I draw Grazer. Villain is playing the blue zoo. I mean, it could be blue zoo, it could be Gorayo. Unless you literally played against them. I could go Gardens Grazer. Put second Saga into play. Why is Flood pronounced Flood and not Flood as in Saloon? It's because English is random. Not a single English word is pronounced phonetically, so which is all random. Kept on top, that's an insane line. <clears throat>
Hmm. The construct doesn't matter, so I'll copy now. <clears throat> Play another garden. Be open to fetch map for bounce lands. Able to copy again if I want to. You spend blue and white. Villain is going to discard Grizzle, Brand, Atraxa, Untap, Gorias, both. Ephemerate both. Take my Titan, I'll draw a forest and I'll die. I already played out this entire game in my head, so... But yeah, Boros Garrison about as useful as... Alternatives... Jesse Wolf run would have been, I guess. Black. Alright, so I guess, indeed, Villain will reanimate Atraxa. White. Nope. Our plan is luck. I mean... Sure. Seems like no Goraya in immediate dignity of my opponent's hands. Potsies? No, it's Falaji, okay. Falaji is a plus one plus one counter, always solid. <sighs> my boss. Yeah, Falagio is pretty disappointing often. This card stained an indulgence. Well, a great sign. I guess probably just means that planes is getting in the way. True Vezuva is not good either. What a game that is. Also failed to do anything. This is blank. <clears throat> so I have to hope that my opponent fails to Find the reanimation. I mean, reanimation is not necessarily a given. Wilson Ratraxa. Blinks Folaccio. That's solid. 
Mills of Fort Atraxa. So, you know, it's just like, I guess we have to fade Grief too. Fade Grief and Goraya, so that's probably not super likely. Oh, I guess I'm fading. Another prismatic ending though. It slows me down further. I need to copy my amulets. I need to draw Pact Explorer. Something. Black blue. Holy snap, my keep did not pay off on Garayo. Revealed Grief Solitude, Swarm Fotsis, Ephemerate. That's a fair punishment for failing to perform a single action in my deck for five turns. Well, I block it now, but what comes next? Force of Negation to... Did the villain grab Grief? Yeah, they chose Grief. So villain will have fossil negation too now, but I get to keep my amulets, have three amulets. Top deck Titan, I guess. I really told like Mr. Beast to save me out of this predicament, but of negation will prevent Pact from fetching Titan, unfortunately. But yeah, Mr. Beast can do it. Key. He grabs Solitude. He did grab Solitude too, so I think I can't beat that. Uh, because he has Force of Negation. I only have one TOS in my deck. Kind of feeling the effects of that. Alright, what if I go Titan into... I don't know. Hope he has no white card. There's no face-up extra white card in his... In his in their hand. Okay. 
So I'll just hope there isn't one. It's the best I can think of. Problems I don't even kill then. Or do I? I think I do. I think I can cobble together 22. Get Valakut, question mark. Right now, that doesn't do anything yet. Okay, if you just kill Titan, then it's over. I'm happy today, Mr. Streamer. Do I? I, yeah, oh no, I had the ending. Wait, there was a white, there was a face of white cards. So, yeah, I don't know why villain is. Posting smiley faces when they had the win. Could bounce Titan now. Yeah, I could do that, but it doesn't do anything, so I rule that line out as a viable line. Because it doesn't matter. You packed question mark. The Tolera was to work here for a second Titan. Villain had false negation in hand. They have like maybe I could like play around I I don't I remember it was a blue card revealed, other than force. <sighs> I don't think there was a revealed blue card. Don't sell in defense greed. No, no, I don't like it. It's probably like two edges. That Dex runs so many free spells. Well, so like does defense greed is defense does get defense greed match up well against Again Alright. Does defense greed match up well against free spells? Yes. Like Answer would be not necessarily it does not match up against their free spells all that well and like it doesn't matter. I don't care about solitude, I beat solitude most of the time. I'll beat subtlety by trimming on packs instead of having defense grid. We didn't beat solitude, not in this spot, no. I was like, not an issue you solve with a defense grid, you solve it with Relic, making them not reanimate. Why are we on Boros Garrison against the Battlemans? I'm playing an Elish Norm decklist.
I'm not qualified for an apple, so I'm skipping it. There is a an L LMS in Bologna, which could serve as a way to queue there, but I'm not going there. Skipping that. Well, they do have online tournaments that are RCQs, yeah. Why don't you just do one ring there? Well, that's what I'm... What else am I doing, bro? Why explore, I meant to make a land drop. Well, I, I need to draw, like... An untapped land. But if I draw Titan, I get to play Titan. That's if I draw a top land, I get to keep a top land in play. I guess if I don't draw a top land, I spend the explore, but like the explore is not necessarily as good anymore. Villain's hand seems like a hand that contains prismatic ending. They kept Going top land, top land. Think it does something that you do with a prismatic ending. Put an amulet, thinking that you'll slow me down. Would I like to attend a Lush Portico? Not necessarily. So basically I explored last turn because I thought that it's not super likely that my double amulet is going to survive and, and that's what I feel felt like I would rather explore than not. Holy shit, villain is putting up some resistance. Hola, G archaeologist, let's go. Nope. Alright, Miss Trigger, you can't win anymore. Game is over. Mr. Beast will save us. I don't think we need much saving this game. Would the Radio of Progenitus be better with stated tap exile target spell? Yes. What could the range of keeps be? They did absolutely nothing in the deck, operates a lot on two lands. One prismatic ending. 
the no lands. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of tricky. Uh, subtlety, solitude, ephemerate. Those cards make sense to be in villain's hand. That's probably what I kept. I'll solve pretty now. I test your might. Not willing to go for like Grazer or something. I'll simply win next turn. How well would Titan perform in Mortal Kombat? Are you ready? Oh, like what are they saying? Test your might. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. What would my fisting move be? In the game, it would be to summon a primal titan and Tolare West for two more, while Mirror pulling the original and hasting all of them, striking for 47 damage with Cassie Wolfrans. I bought out all the Grazers, so also have to remember that I couldn't pack for Grazer because of the fact that there was no Grazer in my deck either. Mortal Kombat! Test your might. Anyone in the chat testing their might? Test your might, I thought the same. Test your might and like you have a scrap and you're like, yeah, well, does it work? Oh, fine. So I think this card is absolutely busted. Probably not.
when substitute synthesizer ATBs try to whenever under artifact with mana value three or more ATBs create a OO colorless artifact creature token with this creature. No there. Good with Frogmite and with Fault Monitor. That's pretty cool. I get this force of negation that seems absolutely fine. Although if villain gets grizzle brand, that's a bit annoying. And it seems like they do because otherwise they wouldn't. Do that, so it's annoying. I don't know why, but the skip songs don't work today, so. Maybe they will tomorrow. Can we win at this point? Sure, why not? Find those random cards at the top of their deck. They're likely, you know, will be some cards that are good enough to get there, but... Let's see. But yeah, I... Don't know if Elish Norn actually, like does anything much against this deck either it's it's kind of doesn't matter what you play on five at five mana so i probably won't play with the white splash You could also play Relic Main. That's mostly blank against most villains though, so... Low interest in that, I guess. You don't like Turn the Earth? I like Turn the Earth. It's fine too. Would work in this spot. Like, really, I mean Graveyard Hate, just cheap Graveyard Hate. But there's a few hands where... I can't turn the air for... Not having untapped green one time. Where Relic would have been based, but turn the air wasn't. But you know, here we had the flip side where turn the air would have been lame and... Turn the earth would have been just enough, and Relic was not enough to stop Grizzlebrand from entering the battlefield. Gonna draw Relic of Progenitus, how useful. Rough, rough.
pretty obscene to you know use get to use force of negation and ways like this but thank you mr maro for free counter magic what will i play in pioneer question mark that's a very good question i won't Lunderbolt, thank you very much for your prime sub. At least today I will not be playing the Pioneer. Problem. Well, in general, the format, I don't know. We'll see. Who's my favorite Twitch chatter? It doesn't have to be me. Lately, uh, Hogube is on the top of the list for being an extremely consistently active chatter. Therefore, providing many messages and grounds for others to react and uh, perform actions do i like pioneer in the moment yeah i don't know i mean i don't play it so i barely play it but when i occasionally play it it's fine What's my take on hallucinating substances? I don't. That's my take. Holy shit, villain, last seen deck one day ago, Amulet Titan. Let's see if this is indeed what they play. Basic Forest into Amulet. It's a slightly worse opening than what I presented, but still pretty good. Should I cycle Explore for playing the One Ring? Could be. Because I want to keep Sanctuary in my hand, in my in play, rather. Poseidu in hand. Assuming the one ring is gonna draw me Pounce Lance. Or some other ways to accelerate. Well, and instead will play another amulet and kill me. No, Cassic Wolf run. Expedition map, okay. Woo! Saved. So the only place to wait with Poseju next turn, hopefully a way to ramp a Poseju, a map, a Titan. 
They do have a map and they drew past the Celestia test. So there's a chance I still get bounded if my opponent gets a top land into more ramp. It would be beneficial to get proficiency in another deck than amulet. Well, I play amulet because I like playing amulet. Grazer, which means 5 mana. Hopefully it's just ring and not. Well, they wouldn't need to do that if they just had ring. Okay, so it's just death. Let's sideboard my no cards, except for Elishnon, I guess that also works. How do we know they had Mr. Beast? Well, we knew they're gonna have Cassie Titan because they made the Titan summoning moves. So. I trusted my opponent to actually have it in their hand as they were performing all the actions that lead up to summoning Primal Titan in this spot. Let's keep this. Elish non gardens can turn free Elish. There was recently a discussion about Fort Season and its effects on combo decks on the Pioneer Discord server. Some made the point that combo decks profit more for Fort Season than they get hurt by it. Any opinions on that? Like getting hit by Fotsies or Fotsies existing in the format? I... It's an extremely mildly interesting point to me. What am I thinking about this Norn build? Well, that's fine. It's kind of, it's minor though, for the most part. Norn. And I'm kind of leaning on not wanting to bother with the splash. Probably could have won this turn, yeah, right, yeah, I could have won. Should have gone for that. Because I could go... Copy... Sanctuary, copy, fetch grazer, grazer. Sanctuary, sanctuary, explore. Get Titan to play. Yeah. Just bad against Force of Vigor, so... With Elish in hand, I guess, arguably, I am not supposed to do that.
No, it seems like a great way to win the Meron. I mean, kind of, but also... Does it? Because... If you play Titan in the middle, you win, right? It's like actually true for Elishnon. If you play Elishnon, you win. But it's it's for the most part true for the Titan too. Maybe it's not true for Titan without. I guess it is not true for Titan without. Amulets involved. So like technically Norn makes it so you can keep Grazer explore Norn. Time for Cultivator Colossus with Elesh Norn. Literally gonna break model for funds. Okay, not so much. I mean, I would say that it's probably more tedious on model once again, like triggering Titans verbally, it's so much easier. Because the main barrier is not understanding the triggers, at least not for me ever, it's just the lag, the input lag on model. My point is also bounce light bounce triggers happen twice, right? They do, yeah, but like does is that like problematic in paper? I don't think it is. Holy shit, Kunit 7, you busted me. Titan makes him scoop Beast with Aleshnorn. No, that's not enough. I'm playing with Norn because people are posting results with Norn. I don't like it much. Also... Yeah, when I called it uncastable, that was when people played it in list that literally had six sources. Of white mana. Or seven. I don't remember if it was with Boros Garrison or with Hanwer, but... I think they had literally six sources to cast it, and then that's a bit insulting. Gardens being a white source helps. 
tiny bit with the castability. Well, this is the Grazer Explorer hand that I talked about. Let's say I keep Karus bouncing two lands is great value. It's a bit annoying when you need to just play your lands. What a gamer. Oh, I was thinking today this member sucks and seems mainly scum and murktide play Magus. Maybe Fire Spot could actually be decent for just those decks over this member. Well, every solution, every removal solution has its own tiny issues that struggle one way or another. Because you would like to have some access to like you'd want to have some removal that kills Yogmoth or stops Yogmoth in some way. Ideally you would like a removal that does something as the Kavu decks because Kavu is it would be pretty effective to remove it but even this member doesn't actually do that all that well because like the issue with Kavu is that it attacks you for five and then it pay for life to deal with it you it's like half like not dealing with it white removal will be barely castable and then it's also doesn't, doesn't work against magus which is not played much right now so could use could just metagame and accept that you lose to Magus because almost no one plays Magus online against me. And like this member is just plainly bad. You know, a solution is to play this member with Rot Farms. I think this member is great, you play two minimum. In that case, well, we just disagree here. This member is fine without 10g turn 3 damage. I don't get it. Like, life loss is really, really... really bad. So how do I sequence here? I mean, you could also just not play removal, it's not really necessary
just go back to ignoring magos it's so low that maybe it's just a uh, like best way now no cut sagas just roll with it the ability to kill in Ragavan on turn one is still super relevant well you have tools for that you have the grazer like you don't need to overcome like that's overcompensating for the grazer for for Ragavan Gonna have free mana. I don't know what to see what's like the best sequence here. But I can draw another bounce land, prestige. Seems like I kept a shit hand, so just make it so that I cast Grazer, cast Elish next turn. Like, it doesn't seem like they're gonna play Titan next turn with their opening. I always struggle against Merktide. Well, that's because Merktide can be pretty tough at times, but also not really in a way that gets solved by Dismember necessarily. Yeah, Noble set you up, unfortunate, but it was. I was trying to think of a way to hold up Bosseju, but then I couldn't guarantee casting Norn on the next turn. So I just decided to cast Norn and give it my opponent's turn to play. Sadly, you know, I'd have turn free Norn while also cycling, also keeping up Bosseju, but that just wasn't a possible line. Unless my explorer would have drawn a bounce land or a green source. That said, now I have LS, so it's good. Grove Chamber Ottawara Titan. I can just play Ottawara Titan. Well, the Grove Chamber doesn't make mana with Elish Norn, if you mean for them. So, yeah, that Explorer means they can do anything. Oh, bigger. That's cool. Hmm. Can Bosedru something? Probably Bosedru a an amulet does something. So yeah, like in this hand, Elish Norn 
Svamot, Brazilian 2, Fossa Vigor. Vestige is so OP with Norn. Yeah, so OP. I'll kill the amulets. Then even if my opponent Otawaras my Elish Norn, they can't really win. I think. Maybe the Goreas deck should play Elish Norn. In the sideboard. For the Goreas mirror. I mean, it's a 5 drop, so probably the deck doesn't have enough ability to cast 5 drops. But also, I mean, you could play it against Zoo out of that deck. See, Solo to deck. Yeah, double attracts a trigger. The Wandering doesn't give protection. OTJ has a free mana and tomb for silver bullets. What's that card? I haven't seen it, I don't think so. That will fall Haji 3 here. Holy shit, he's finally gonna hit something. I don't know what's the free mana end tomb. How I felt like I can't cast it with this mana base, cast what, Elishnorn? Elishnorn was cast many times today. Seems in fact doable. Ordering question mark. No, ordering was good, chat. Don't don't you worry. You worry too much.
it's total mana value for or less, so it's just two mana returning grief, three mana and tomb, five mana fetch and a creature from a graveyard from from your deck. Now reap your partner from the grave and form an undead killing wave. What? We have three mana and tomb, but not one that actually works. If you keep Mirror Pool up to protect Elishnorn, they can't win anymore pretty much, can they? Yeah, that's also the case if I don't keep up Mirror Pool to protect Elishnorn because my point is DOB on board. <clears throat> As a general thing, that is the case, yes. I mean, a Titan cannot beat an Elishnorn. I love always yes on magical line. I guess if I keep playing the white splash, I just don't play Smember in it. Just an extra curse totem and draw with not being able to kill Yogmo of the creature. I play turn the earth to turn the earth. Play even more hate cards against uh, Guraya because they countered my relic and I lost. And I felt bad. Turn the air of Tinku as a raid. Raid wreck. Win us raid as bully. Yeah. Sir Streamer, why Thrak Task? to kill people with it's to block Kavu yeah ETB Elishnor and makes ring no not protect either But the raid was in vain, as I will actually be finishing the stream too. If Vianrek didn't want to, I'll raid Amuranth. She's not streaming though.
so I will not uh, not playing removal is so scary no one is playing Magus against me in like last five prelims let's cut the removal and immediately queue into quad Magus scam next one See you on Thursday. You miss leagues after prelims? Yeah. You do. Mr. Cancer, do you think free, free, free splits are justifiable? They usually seem like the deck is trying to do too many things. What does that even mean? They're justifiable. <laughs> 